Hi everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to fold a spiral using the chiaroscuro technique. This is my third video on the technique. If you missed my last two, you can look down in the description and I'll have my chiaroscuro playlist there. So I'll show you how to fold this one, but you could also fold one with a bigger grid that looks like this. This one's a 32 by 32 grid, but I'll go over that at the end of the video. Now I explained the history of the technique in my previous videos, so I'll just have that written out down in the description as well. But to fold this, I'll be using a 6 inch square of kami, so let's get down to folding. I'm starting with the colored side up. Now we're gonna start by folding a 16 by 16 diagonal grid. Now this will be the exact same grid that we folded in the previous videos I made on this technique. So if you already know how to do this, then look down in the progress bar and skip ahead to the section called folding the spiral. Otherwise, just follow along. So we're gonna valley fold in half along the diagonal. So we'll bring this right corner over to the left corner. And line those corners up and then Crease it all the way across. And then unfold. Now we'll valley fold in half along the other diagonal. So we'll bring the bottom corner up to the top corner. And then crease that corner to corner. And then unfold. Now we'll bring this top corner down to the center of this X. Just line it up right in the center and then crease it down and then bring the bottom corner up to the same point. Now we'll unfold the bottom corner, then we'll take that bottom corner and bring it up to the center right on this top edge. And then unfold, and then bring that bottom corner up to the center of the first crease. and then unfold. Now unfold the top corner. Then we'll bring that top corner down to the center of this crease, which is the second crease up. And then unfold and bring that top corner into the center of the crease closest to it. And then unfold. Now rotate the paper and then repeat all of those steps right here. So bring the top and bottom corners into the center. And then unfold the bottom and bring it up to the center of the top edge. And then unfold and bring it up to the center of the first crease. And then unfold both corners. And bring that top corner down to the center of the second crease up. And then unfold and bring it into the center of the crease closest to it. and then unfold. Now we can turn the paper over. Now we're going to divide each of these sections in half and we'll do that by pleating the paper. So we're gonna start down on the bottom. We're gonna bring the bottom corner up to the center of the crease closest to it. Next we're going to take that crease and form it into a mountain fold. And then we'll bring that edge up to the crease just above it. Now we'll just repeat those steps with this next crease, form that into a mountain fold and bring it up to the edge just above it. Now do that one more time. And 
Now rotate the paper 180 degrees and then repeat those steps up until it meets in the middle. Now we can unfold everything and flatten it out and then rotate the paper and we'll repeat all of those steps right here. And rotate and repeat. And then unfold everything. Now we're going to start actually folding the spiral. And I'm going to fold the crease first while I explain it. And then I'm going to draw it in with a pen just to make sure it's clear. You don't have to draw it in with a pen on yours. It'll just help to make the video more clear. Now this first crease is going to start one square up and then it's going to run parallel to the edge and it's going to end one square from the edge on the left. So I'll fold this really quick and then show you what that looks like. And then we'll stop one square from the edge. Now I'm going to rotate, and I'll be rotating as I fold each one of these creases. This next one will start right from where that last crease ends, run parallel to this edge, and then it'll stop one square from the edge as well. Now we'll rotate. And this next crease will start right from where that one ended and it'll run out this way and this one will stop two squares from the edge. You could also just look at the crease pattern that I have printed down in the description and then you could just follow all of the creases on that and then skip to the next section. And then rotate. Now this one will start from where we left off, but it's going to end three squares from the edge. Now rotate. This next one will also stop three squares from the edge. So it'll actually only be three squares long. Now this next one will also stop three squares from the edge. So it will only be two squares long. Now this next one will only be one square long.
Then this next one will also only be one square long. Next, we'll move back out towards the edge and we're going to fold creases that just follow this spiral pattern right in the opening until they meet up in the center. So this first one will run from this first square up on the edge and then it'll end two squares from the edge. And rotate. And this one will end two squares from the edge. Now this one will end two squares from the edge. This will be three squares from the edge. Now this one's only two squares long. And then this final one just connects these two points. Now we've creased the whole spiral, but each of these creases will alternate between mountains and valleys at each grid line. So since we made each of these as valley folds, it's helpful to reverse each of the creases as mountain folds. So just on the existing creases we have, just really quickly, fold them as mountain folds, just so that it makes them genderless creases so they can easily be creased in any direction as we collapse. Now there's no real straightforward way to collapse something like this, so you just kind of go little by little. Um, I'll try to explain what I'm doing as we go along here. Um, so I'm actually going to rotate, make sure yours is oriented like this when we start. And if you've looked at the crease pattern that I have linked down in the description, you'll notice the mountains and valleys, they kind of, as they hit each of these creases of the spiral, they'll zigzag. So one that would start right here, would zigzag each time it hits one of these. So I'm gonna go slowly, but show you the way that I collapse this and hopefully you can follow along. I'm gonna start up here on this top left corner. And we're gonna fold these valley folds. Then there'll be a mountain fold right here. Then we're going to extend this all the way across this top line just with these zigzagging folds. So I'll show you what that looks like. And then now that we've gotten to the edge, I'm 
We're going to start working our way down this crease. So if we extend this out all the way to the corner, these creases are going to zigzag as they come down. So this one that's a mountain will alternate once it hits that crease, then the valley, mountain, valley, etc. Now we're gonna start alternating those creases as we run along this way. So this mountain, it's going to extend out this way. And valley, mountain, valley, mountain. And now on this little point right here, this mountain will actually extend all the way out and meet up with this one. See that one runs all the way out here. Then we're going to run up this direction. We're gonna kind of just pop these creases through. Once you get the hang of this, it's actually really fun to do. See where we're at so far. Now I'll do that running out this direction. That one pops to a valley fold, then from behind, pop it up to a mountain fold. Valley, mountain. And then this valley fold will extend all the way out over to this crease like that. mountain, valley, and this right here is mountains all the way around right there. Now once you start getting close, you need to check your work. You should just notice these original ones that we started with. They're always going to alternate at a 90 degree angle anytime they hit one of these creases that are part of the spiral. So if we just follow one, this is a mountain fold, hits there, continues as a mountain, hits there, alternates and runs out this direction. And you should be able to follow any of the creases. Valley, 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 valley. And then you should be able to make sure you're doing things correctly if you just follow that method. And once you get it, you should be able to collapse everything down. Let's see. If you're having trouble with that, follow the crease pattern closely. Just go down in the description and look at that. If you are still struggling, you can actually print that crease pattern out directly onto a sheet of paper and then just fold only the creases that you need and then try to collapse that. That can be really helpful if you're um, having a lot of trouble. But should be able to fold all the way until it lies flat if you did that correctly. And then you just open that back up. And now the spiral is complete. 
Now I'm gonna switch out for one that doesn't have all the pen marks on it. If you just play with the light, you should be able to see the nice spiral here. Depending on how you rotate it, you can see the two different spirals. Now it is possible to fold this without folding the grid first. You'll see we have all these extra crease lines that we didn't use. If you only fold the creases you need, you can fold one without all that extra creases. This can be a bit of a challenge, but it looks awesome if you're able to do it. Now you can try folding the spiral without making the grid first using the crease pattern down in the description. Or you can try using a bigger grid. I used a 32 by 32 grid to fold these. You could also try changing the proportions. You could make the gaps wider in between the spiral. There's a lot of different things you could try with it, so feel free to mess around and have some fun with it. Now my next video on the technique will be a design that uses multiple squares. This one looks really cool, but it will also have a lot of ways it can be modified so you can create your own design. So go down and click subscribe so you don't miss that one. And thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you next time.